So um, I think just looking uh, probably in my past and looking the way I grew up, uh, my father was an entrepreneur in the office machine business. So uh, his company, first company name was Graphic Business Machines, and he was selling calculators and typewriters and what's up. Um, he became one of the largest uh, Xerox and Olympia dealers in the Southeast. And when he became that, he actually started um, building uh, small PCs and computers for uh, SLED, county government, things such as. So I spent a lot of my summers there building computers, which kind of dove me and took me straight into technology. Wow. So having that background with your dad being really interested in entrepreneurship and you witnessing that, was that then something from a young age that you became kind of, kind of enamored with, something, a path maybe you wanted to explore too? Absolutely. I mean, I've worked. Uh, so for a long time, uh, I, I worked for a large, uh, many large uh, four billion dollar corporations. Um, and now I have an opportunity to actually build my own business. Um, Symphony's kind of allowing me to do that. So I'm looking forward to this new beginning for me in this new chapter. Yeah, I mean, that is exciting. And it's cool to, I guess, reflect back and see, I mean, from your roots being raised with your dad, who is an entrepreneur himself, and now getting to really go back into that and, and live into that and see see what comes of it. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. So, Scott, um, reflecting back, I guess, prior to you said entering into your uh, stints in, in larger companies. So now getting into this tech atmosphere, um, was there something specifically about technology that really um, kind of captured your interest? Is technology something that's always been a part of your life or is it just recently with Symphony that that has been introduced into your uh, career path? No, so I so I grew up actually, Katie, uh, in technology. Like I said, yeah. not not just through my father. Um, I grew up doing small programming. Um, okay. I, uh, I I I uh, led off to. I was going to head off to Georgia Tech. Uh, made some changes. I ended up going to Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern at the time was the uh, uh, furthest in-state school away from my family. So I was trying to get away from my family to enjoy college, so to speak. So I went there on uh, a little bit of partial scholarship. Uh, made my way back. Uh, somehow in, from engineering into computer science into information systems. And I graduated an information systems degree from Georgia Southern. Wow. So why information systems? Why making that that shift? Great question. So um, engineering to me was, uh, I was great with numbers, still am, uh, very technical. Uh, migrated from that into computer science, which then in turn to me was just sitting behind the desk and coding and doing 4GL, which I've had experience in doing so. And then information systems was more of kind of a rainbow over it all. And it kind of painted a greater picture so that I was going to have greater influence, maybe with people and organizations rather than, you know, just sit maybe behind a desk or whatnot. So, yeah. And that makes sense. So making that shift into something maybe you felt more drawn to, more passionate about bringing those kind of worlds together. And so Scott, right. then coming up on graduation from Georgia Southern and really diving into information systems, what was on the horizon for you as far as a career path coming up on uh, finishing school? Yeah, so um, I, I, I entered into kind of a small internship while I was at Georgia Southern. Um, I actually, while I was there, they had uh, some small kiosk systems. Um, and I helped develop those uh, kiosk systems throughout the campus. Wow. Um, when I graduated from there, I went into a uh, large manufacturing facility and became their IT manager. So I started setting up land WANs, um, doing a variety of things. And then finally, towards the end of that career, I was doing ERP type systems, doing implementations, and then moved into got from, from there into IT consulting in the healthcare industry. And then finally wound up in sales um, wow. in business development. Yeah. And um, eventually then, I mean, winding up in sales and business development, taking that that path like you did after school, what ultimately led you to Symphony Technology Solutions today? Great question. Um, a lot of things actually led me here. Uh, my faith led me here first and foremost. Um, secondly, uh, I, I think just building some of the relationships. I have a lot of longstanding relationships. And I've built some great rapport along the way. Um, my career is God, it's been going on really since I was a child, asking small questions to, uh, you know, to young adults trying to figure it all out. Um, and so, for example, some of the shareholders there I've known for nearly 25 plus years. Um, and so when I took kind of this leap of faith, um, I, I moved out of this big corporate world in hopes of really um, starting or becoming my own shareholder and starting my own division, being able to start start something myself. And Symphony's given me that opportunity. So knowing those shareholders, having those longstanding relationships um, has come with great benefit. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And in pursuit of that, Scott, so being brought um, brought to symphony in a lot of different ways and being able to really dive into this, this passion and being an entrepreneur and all these things kind of coming together as you join the symphony team. Um, you're, of course, going into Florida and launching a new branch for us there as a, as a manager there. So can you speak to maybe what your biggest goals are, aspirations are for once you land in Florida, hit the ground run, running? What do you uh, what do you hope to achieve there? Yeah, I think, you know, looking at it um, and even using the word tie in symphony, um, I'm going in with a connected strategy, right? So I'm going in maybe with, uh, we've got the right people. I know we have the right resources um, as well as we have all the disciplines necessary. So one of the biggest goals for me is, is building that team that's going to be everlasting. Um, that's almost going to be fail proof. So if we can tie all of this together, which is really what the term integration comes from and build that in Florida, um, grassroots. We don't have to necessarily do that because we're already doing that. So, you know, we're doing that in Texas. We're doing that all over the country. This is going to be a great opportunity for us now to migrate and do this in Florida as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I love that bringing together the right team, of course, you know, Symphony building the right team in Atlanta and then um, equipping someone like you to go out and uh, really again, hit the ground running once you, uh, once you get to Florida and then you can build your own team and develop that, that same strategy there. Correct. So Scott, um, of course, one of our major taglines for symphony is creating technology harmony. It's the name of our podcast, just coincidentally, of course. Um, and you spoke a little bit to it just now with wanting to build that really ideal team, integrating people together. Um, but can you speak to what creating technology harmony means to you? So I can, I, I look at it from more of a metaphor standpoint, and I think it applies more to even now more than ever with COVID and things such as. Um, so if you look at, for example, a symphony, right, it has four movements, it has strings, it has brass, it has woodwinds, and it has percussion, right? We'll now relate that into our world to whereas our lives, they, they require what work, family, faith, and fitness. And so if we can take those two, that metaphor, and blend it all together and balance all those moves, we really have near perfect um, uh, sound. And so looking at it from our own, our own work life and our own balance of life um, to be able to have that, that perfect sound is so important. And I think just taking that term and moving it into our business world to have a company such as Symphony come in and take, say, for example, um, a large corporation and be able to um, uh, transfer that perfect sound into that corporation is so synonymous and so perfect. And so that's that's what we're doing. And that's the relationship that I tie between the two. So sorry for the metaphor. No, I love it. Got to bring it all together. I mean, it's true. It's, it's all of those instruments playing together and it's, you know, all the team, you know, as a team playing together and then working with our partners together. It just ties into so many different facets of what we do um, and what you're aiming to do, of course, as you launch, uh, launch into Florida. Absolutely. Yeah. So Scott, um, if someone maybe wanted to learn a fun fact about you, something, it could be related to technology and entrepreneurship and everything you're doing, but is, if there's something maybe um, that they couldn't, wouldn't find out just by uh, looking at a bio of you, what is a fun fact that you would want somebody to know? Um, golly, uh, I think more than anything. So growing up, I've, I've traveled all my, my entire life. Um, so I've, I've had the opportunity in business as well as pleasure to travel the world. Um, I've spent a lot of time in uh, North America just through business travels myself. Um, and I only have one remaining state left to see in North America. Um, and that would be Alaska. So I have the, that's kind of the last frontier for North America for me. Wow. So when is the Alaska trip? Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to check with Symphony. I, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. So it may be just a one way ticket. Right. Um, <laughs> so there I need go. maybe two to three weeks to truly explore uh, Alaska in my mind. There you go. Yeah. So I'll launch Symphony Florida, then just go right on to Alaska. Just keep on going. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I see, uh, I see Alaska happening in the next two to three years, but um, certainly I definitely want to spend some time out there. 